Well, what's going on, Chiefs Kingdom? Well, we did it. We did it, we win, and we are moving on to the Super Bowl. That's right. We are AFC champions for the third time in the last five years, and we win in this one 23-20 to 20 over the Cincinnati Bengals on a last second field goal nonetheless actually there's still three seconds left but still um and yeah and well that field goal was set up a costly penalty uh by the Bengals, an unnecessary roughness penalty which cost them 15 yards and yeah so that was huge obviously could have been a lot different if that didn't happen and yeah so what a game uh of course patrick mahomes not 100 percent i mean he still played with you know playing through a high ankle sprain of course uh which is pretty amazing you know not many guys could really do that uh but he wasn't totally severe or bad enough that he could not play so anyway uh we would win the toss and a first the Bengals would get the ball first and they would go three and out uh so that was a great start uh and then in our first series we would capitalize and score on a 43 yard field goal uh in which the previous play before that could have been a touchdown that was challenged. Uh, Kadarius Tony uh, wrote an incomplete catch by Tony, uh, and it was could have gone either way. It was very very close, but he did not have possession of the ball. So it was fourth down, but we would still get a field goal to take a three nothing lead, and then after the Bengals would go three and out, and uh, sacks by Chris Jones and split by Billy Gay and Frank Clark. Uh, we'll then get a 20-40 yard field goal to put us up 6 nothing. And however, uh, earlier in that series, we could have gotten a touchdown if it was not for a uh, holding penalty by uh, Chiefs guard Austin Wiley, so uh, that was too bad, uh, but still we got a field goal, and then the Bengals would capitalize, get a field goal, make it 6-3, uh, and then we would go up 13-3, Mahomes would throw to Travis Kelsey, 14 yards out to put us up 13-3, and Kelsey was questionable, uh, really up just a few hours before game time with a back injury, but he would play and would score a touchdown to put us up 13-3. And then Joe Burrow would throw an interception uh, to Jalen Watson, uh, the rookie. He's had a great rookie season. But then we would not get any yards at all in that next series. And the Bengals would then try to score a touchdown going into the locker room but instead a 23 yard field goal by mcpherson to make it 13 to 6 at halftime we would get the ball to start the second half but a three and out and then the Bengals would tie the game up at 13 uh on third and six from the chiefs 27 burrow would throw to t higgins from 27 yards on what was a great catch by Higgins uh, on third down. So that would tie the game up at 13. So a lot of game left. Then we would retake the lead 20 to 13 uh, as uh, Holmes would throw two. Marquez Valdez Scantling 19 yards out. Uh, MVS scored. In, uh, twice last week against Jacksonville so that would put us up 20 to 13 and uh Scanling also 
uh, had what was kind of maybe a controversial play where he uh, was initially ruled short of the first down, but we uh, challenged it, and it was just enough for the first down, and it really could have gone either way. So, and then a punt by the Bengals, but then a fumble as Mahomes would have trouble with the snap uh, and would fumble it, recovered by Sam Hubbard, uh, who in the wild card game against the Ravens, Hubbard would return uh, a fumble for 98 yards. Uh, and the Bengals and then capitalized to tie the game up 20 all. Samaj P. Ryan, two yard run to tie it up 20 all. And at the start of the fourth quarter, the Bengals would go for on fourth and six. Burrow would, would connect with Jamar Chase. Uh, and so that would set up first and goal, and they would score. And then after a punt, Burrow would throw an interception to uh, Justin Williams. Uh, and yeah, was, so, so we would have the ball right inside our own 15. Uh, and well, we had a chance to take a lead, a pass interference against the Bengals, but we could not capitalize. So another punt, and then a big penalty on Joe Burrow and on intentional grounding. Uh, so that was big. And then uh, incomplete on, or rather a, Burrow would be sacked on third and eight with 41 seconds left, so we would get the ball. Uh, 30 seconds left, we would have the ball right near midfield, in fact, on our own 47-yard line, so we were, you know, close to field goal range, and then Mahomes would scramble uh, for five yards, but then a penalty on uh, the Bengals, uh, Aussie, Joseph Aussie, a unnecessary roughness, personal foul, which would cost them 15 yards, and then Butker with a 45-yard field goal to put us up 23-20. to There's three seconds remaining, and yeah, so that would send us to Super Bowl 57, where we will face the Philadelphia Eagles two weeks from today in Glendale, Arizona. So, this should be one heck of a game for the Eagles. They blew out the 49ers 31-7. to I think that's what the final score was. Um, and, yeah, arguably probably two of the best quarterbacks in each conference, Mahomes and Jalen Hurts. So, can't wait for that. And Mahomes, since it's two weeks away, should probably be fully healthy in that ankle sprain should be fully recovered. So, but yeah, so what a game. And again, uh, all four of these games between the Chiefs and Bengals with Mahomes and Burrow have all come down, you know, to uh, the fourth quarter, and they've all been by three points. So, just amazing. These two are going to be so much fun to watch uh, for a long time. We will actually be facing the Bengals again next season. Don't know when, but we will face them, I think, at Arrowhead. Uh, yeah, our full opponents for next season are announced, but we don't know when in the season we'll be playing them. So, But yeah, so glad that we just got revenge after last year. And... Yeah, so what you guys think, so until two weeks against the Eagles in the Super Bowl, comments bigger saying, go Chiefs.